Okay, I'll show you some of the details on these kittens and then I will get into the background and a few of the finishing touches. Most of the time with an animal, I'll paint the eyes first and then I'll go in by restating the darks like I am here. I'll be switching brushes with each color so I can always have a dark brush and then a slightly lighter brush. That way I can go back and forth if I need to. I'm using a rosemary synthetic long flat for this and then when I get into the details like here in the nose and a light, lighter gray color, I'm using my Princeton Umbria 6200F. It's a softer brush for more of the details. So just going with lighter colors to add some details. As I mentioned before, the lighting in this painting is quite subtle, so there aren't very many differences in value here. Now this is a Princeton Umbria dagger brush, which makes it a little bit easier to put in the whiskers. You could, of course, use the flat brush to do the whiskers, just flatten it out with a little bit of medium in it. Next step after I finish the kitten is to go around with a soft brush and a little medium in it. I'm using a water-soluble linseed oil as a medium just to make the paint flow a little easier. And I go around the kitten and her coat so that I can have a little more freedom with the background when the time comes. Get the edges carefully worked first. And then I come in with a bigger brush to go ahead and do that just with mixtures of green. My green is uh, ultramarine blue and permanent yellow light. And there's variations of some of my reds and browns in it. So with the background still wet, I will go in and touch up the edges of the kitten if I need to. And I will touch up the edges of the coat where it meets the background. If one of the edges had already dried, I could always come in with the same color. And restate the edge. So this is a look at the detail on the kitten's face, a little bit on her hair. And the next step Paint in the background below her coat and the kitten, the lower part of the painting. And because I've already been careful with my edge, I can go in with a larger filbert bristle brush and be quite loose with my colors and a few subtle variations of the greens. And once I've completed this, just for a little bit of variety, I'm going to throw in some palette knife work. The indication of grass behind her and just to break up the color a little bit, give the eye something interesting to look at. And I'll do the same with the upper background, just touching it a little bit here and there just to break up the color a bit. And once I've put in a little bit of knife work, I will come back in with a brush and if need be, touch up a few areas, soften something that might be standing out too much. So this is the end of our portrait and kittens project. Soft lighting. That was one of the challenges. And children are always challenging, but so gratifying to paint.